King. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure to take the uh, call during the second reading of the Fisheries, Foreign Charter Vessels and Other Matters Amendment Bill. Uh, and it's clear from those speeches that have gone before me uh, that no one takes uh, credit or pride out of what has been allowed to occur over a period of considerable years. Uh, we found this quite a complex bill because there was a lot of variable approaches as to how quota management and allocation is administered uh, within our economic zone. So from that point of view, the mandatory reflagging of all foreign charter vessels in New Zealand is long overdue. That having been said, it is alarming that under a Labour government that nothing was done apart from an inquiry uh, and good intentions. And also, also, also from the point of view uh, of my learned Green member, Stefan Browning, uh, who has worked very hard in this area, uh, it is quite um, concerning when, in actual fact, the Tally family was actually on the side of the angels. That, that the Green Party, and not necessarily the Green member, Stefan Browning, actually tried to paint them as the villains in this situation around the tuna catch. Um, having talked to that, uh, Stefan, uh, I think myself that the media got the wrong end of the stick. That's correct, isn't it? And in actual fact that the, um, the Tally family were on the side of the angels, and they were strong advocates for uh, the, the flagging, uh, they probably would have wanted to go further and see um, New Zealand crews and the capability fishing that quota. However, um, as I started off by saying, Mr Speaker, uh, nobody can take credit uh, ab about the way that this has played out. Uh, however, in saying that, there are many other sides of the debate that needs to be thought through that some of the business models uh, that were being adopted were going to take time to adjust to the, the requirement of reflagging. But I, I will make the point in conclusion, Mr Speaker, that um, it's a national-led government that has taken the initiative to make sure that we do uh, get this right and that we can hold our heads up high uh, when addressing labour conditions on foreign charter vessels, uh, and I look forward to unanimous, unanimous support from uh, all our members, um, especially the next speaker from New Zealand First. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker. I call Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm 